Hello and welcome back to another part of Pop Culture Reacts to the VOB's Retius. And we are at track free, age orientated. Um, so, so far, loving what we've had. Um, so, hoping they're, they're for paying, more of the same. They're kind of paying off on that promise that we had. I know I said in the, uh, the first uh, track of the album, uh, my only concern was, have I built it up too much? So far, so good, though. So far, we are we're we're back to the hundreds. And and funny enough, uh, when we closed off the first video, um, you you said, "Oh, next up, age oriented." And I I hadn't looked at the track listing, so at first I thought you were actually saying like it's age appropriate. So you know, <laughs> families, kids, everyone, come along. I yeah, I'm idiot. But yeah, I hadn't twigged that it was a song title. Um, and also like kind of no video for this, but. Um, first look at the album artwork I, and I, I say that in fact i'm gonna put that onto the screen now because it's a beautiful album cover isn't it i'm a yes. big fan of that um so much that, going on but so vinyl worthy to have that on yeah. a big print and i guess to a degree we're not doing the uh uh reactions to beautiful album covers but yeah i do like to give them credit when i think they are quite stunning and i think this is quite stunning yes so shall we find out if we are indeed age orientated yeah our age is probably a little bit beyond uh, the orientation that they're going for but let's do this <laughs>
So, Mr. Sen. There was a YouTube. There was a YouTube apocalypse there at the end. Apologies for that. Uh, I got so into it. I <laughs> happens every now and again. I forget that I have to do stuff. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm going to say this a lot as we go through it. Um, uh, best track I've heard so far. Um, I thought this was stunning. Um, and part of I think the thing that made it so stunning for me is the. The first time I've heard that degree of variation on the vocals um, uh, that we often talk, don't we, about um, bands who mix up the music and we will get to music because they do that in here. Um, but how they can sort of transition in and out of um, different styles within a song. Um, uh, lyrically, this does, sorry, lyrically, vocally, this does this all the way through. Um, I, I, I kind of got lost part of the way through it purely because... Um, my brain was overloading a little bit on on, on, on how um, and uh, of course you know there's some uh, variations in the recording like uh, it's not your, your singular vocal that's kind of running um, you've got you've got the mixed voices at certain points but uh, yeah I, I can't quite put my finger on it yet because there's so much going on but but mm. wow it is probably where I'd go with this one yeah this this is much more funkier than we've had so far, and oh, it, it beautiful, beautifully sort of that early nineties funk thing of things like Extreme and Red Hot Chili Peppers and things like that that would have yeah. that funky as fuck bass lines in yeah. in their stuff with a fucking heavy guitar riff that runs over it. And just the right. right amount of heavy as well, isn't there? Yeah. Like, um, it, it never... It's a perfect um, balance to it. It's yeah, not... yeah. It doesn't pull away from the funk. It enhances the funk and vice versa. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think you're spot on with kind of those inspirational sides of it. But it, it, it feels like um, those at their best. Yes. So like maybe kind of, maybe not the watered down latter versions of people's career, but... But yeah, taking that inspiration from the right the, the right periods of those bands. Yeah, and again, the, the vocals, as you say, and it sort of goes a bit everywhere, but at no point, again, the same with, as we say with the music, it never goes too far either way. It It's weird and different, but always fits what's going on, you know. It, yeah. And leads to no, those moments. It leads to those moments, and I could feel, I could feel it in myself. If it comes across in my face or not, like I'm English, I, I have no expression other than sarcastic. Um, but um, I could feel it inside of, of when those transitions were happening. Um, just, just joy, like brings like great joy because you just go, "That's brilliant," and "That's brilliant," and "That's brilliant," and I, I don't know. Like, yeah, we do we do a reaction channel and um we always said we're kind of trying to hope to find stuff that really does something to us and for us sort of personally. Uh, in all honesty, we're looking for great, aren't we? You know, we've been around a long time now, we've heard a lot yes. of bad, we've heard a lot of average, we've heard a lot of good. And and when you've kind of built up a, a plethora of music in, in your life, I think it is quite hard for people to impress you because you've heard so much, you know, similar in any, any line. And, you know, it, it's, it's hard not to get too hyperbolic on stuff when you, when you get something that really does um, hit for you. But th this, this song hit for me massively. And I, I, I can't wait to hear this track. And I think I'll find this with the album, but I can't wait to listen to this track over and over again and kind of really drill down into it. Cause yeah, yeah there's so much going on. Um, But, but the funk kind of, and the, and the vocals dominate for me on this. Um, but I, I think you said it in previous videos. Uh, I love, I love, I love funk when done well. And this is funk yes. done well, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, so down there, let us know what you lot think. Um, as always, do the YouTube things of like, subscribe and ring the bells. And we will be back with the next track, which is The Enemy of Earth. It's you. It's you. 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 You.
Well, yeah, I eat meat, so yeah, I am the enemy of the earth. Meat is murder. Um, probably rule the enemy, yeah. So I think we could all join together in being the enemy uh, in the next video. Exactly. And until then, goodbye. <laughs>